In the last few days, I've been on the road with Mercedes-Benz going from Houston to Detroit. On the way, we stopped at Tuscaloosa, Alabama at Mercedes-Benz's plant to meet the 2015 Mercedes-Benz C-Class. And while we didn't have a chance to drive the car, we did have a chance to get our first and exclusive look ahead of everybody else at the 2014 Detroit Auto Show. Now, I love the design of the outgoing C-Class. It was a great design that mixed sport and luxury at the same time. Mercedes-Benz took about seven years to redo the new C-Class. And the first thing people say when they see it is that it looks like a smaller S-Class. And in fact, the car has grown in size. It's three inches longer in its wheelbase and two inches wider. Mercedes says that they're doing that to account for the increasing average height in people, which I had no clue was happening, but apparently it is. I think overall the design will do well. It's a good mix of sport and luxury. And compared to the 3 Series, the Lexus IS, and the Audi A4, I think the new C-Class definitely will hold its ground. The interior on the 2015 C-Class has been totally redesigned. I think that it's a perfect mixture of the CLA and the S-Class bringing together sport and luxury. First thing you'll notice right away from the CLA is the 7-inch center floating display, which houses everything from your climate control readouts to your audio readouts and other vehicle settings. That same screen can be upgraded to 8.4 inches if you go for the multimedia package. Now, I'm not a fan of that. I like my climate control readouts in a separate section. One cool new feature is a touchpad right in the center, which Mercedes-Benz says acts just like a smartphone and allows you to use your finger gestures to control functions in the head unit. The touchpad accepts letters, numbers, and special characters in handwriting mode in any language. I think that's a really cool new feature since everybody's used to touch-sensitive technology. The 2015 Mercedes-Benz C-Class will go on sale right after its debut at the 2014 Detroit Auto Show. When it goes on sale, it will be launched in two models including the C300 Formatic and the C400 Formatic. The C300 forgoes its six-cylinder option for a 2.0-liter four-cylinder turbocharged making 241 horsepower, while the C400 Formatic will get a 3.0-liter turbocharged V6 making 329 horsepower. So as you know, the C-Class is Mercedes-Benz's best-selling model. The outgoing model sold over 2.4 million units and that was introduced in 2007. So this one has a lot to live up to, so we'll find out how it does a couple years down the line. Thanks for watching Fast and Daily. My name is Omarana. Oh, we're living in the fast lane, baby.